the great man of course is here and we are here in the physics laboratory of our presence university and uh, our science club has organized a fantastic uh, quiz competition and of course it's on the hybrid mode of few people attending it online few people attending it offline and this is a really interesting and a very important video on the lines of uh, the science club because this is going to be their first video that we uploaded on our channel and we have uh, deepthi ma'am our uh, faculty coordinator of the science club how did you even put them together because they be all running around here and there and when you say quiz competition of course the participation will be here and there somehow but why the competition today and what is the necessity of this quiz competition no uh, through science club actually we planned the science club we have started the science club in 2015 16 itself right um we few me faculty members initiated the process actually and actually our plan is they can learn through exploring ah right 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 uh, science through exploring so that is more benefit for the science club so we are giving a plan platform so based on their interest they can conduct the events so science club quiz is actually proposed by by student coordinators there are yes. three student coordinators here yes. shaif yeah. uh, yogesh okay. and sai right 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 okay so they have proposed this and uh, the, those time actually our majority of students were online students right so we have started with registration process nearly 60 registrations were there so automatically there should be a platform yeah. so we have started with online competition right. so first round or round got over long back right. one uh, nearly 15 days back oh right yeah right, right. so this is the second round right. second round we have again this hybrid mode few right. are attending online few are their participants yes, are here yes, offline yes. ma'am so also, what what is the quiz all about like what are what is the questions that has been asked in here uh everything related right. to science okay. science in daily life starting from that right. current science science and technology oh fantastic so uh, i should not be asking how much you like science of course you like science and that's why you are here yeah. tell me your 10th standard and puc marks in science <laughs> <laughs> uh science uh, actually i like maths more but Aray, yeah, haan, haan, haan. Uh, but still science i am above 80 percentage right, those times right, right, those right, times right. about 80 85 percentage okay ma'am now like just just asking you just just to you know make it a little more interesting and it's a nice moment that we are trying to ask this question if online classes were given to like say to your you know generation of of uh, students that we were there when were you more happy writing it online there or how was it just compare your way of writing and this way of writing of exams no i feel offline is always better yeah, yeah. Uh, but online is a second mode ah. without delaying the process right, so right, right. automatically we have to take that responsibility and we have to move on right. Superb. So let us see if the responsibility is being taken by Yogesh and Saif. And yeah. what's yours? Your name? Sai. Sai. Right. Yogesh, you really like science? Yeah, sir. I love science. All right. So sweet. Okay. Tell me the formula of Pythagoras theorem. So a plus b to the whole square plus b plus c to the whole square equals to c uh, a plus c to the whole square. My God. My God. My God. <laughs> we'll 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 have to we'll have to recheck that. Go and put it on slow motion and see but yeah i was just joking pulling your leg but you you proposed the quiz competition first uh, event uh, i must be saying first video rather from science club really happy yogesh because he really took that interest and initiative to make sure the event goes on well tell us about the participants how was it and how was the flow of the quiz happening uh, so so to come up uh, with the uh, registration process like there were lots of registrations but you know like all the people who uh, registered don't turn up for the quiz so uh, we can't propose everyone to come to the offline because you know it's high time in covid so people are attending in online so we did force them so some people who want who are in campus can come and attend offline which is open and who are attending in online can also attend in online so we that's the reason we made it uh, hybrid mode right. so both the people can attend it fantastic fantastic and sai you being one of the student coordinator again in science club but uh, tell us what are the participants getting after they win something sir uh, basically we haven't planned like any award but they'll get a honor from our sir like certificate right. and it's not like recognizing by others science is like in our daily part of life so they will get uh, what about they know about themselves how much they know about the science and it's a part of living so they should be at minimum level like everybody in this world should know about what they are standing on and how they are living much so, actually nice idea i can propose this to some of the other uh, clubs also who are always asking for certificates prize money and all that it's a where you are standing you know to know yourself that's why this competition no no but still fantastic that should be the aim for all the clubs yes. where they are standing actually, actually. yeah it is not for some uh, money or some uh, yes, prize yes. money or something yes. 
Yeah, they can explore, they can learn many things through a club activity. So, so in this science club, we are again discovered something new that competition happens to know yourself. Science itself is a discovery, sir. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Science itself is a discovery. Without science, we are not there. Perfect. Perfect. Very well said. Very well said. Without science, nobody is around. What have you discovered about yourself? <laughs> no, but how is, how is the quiz uh, happening? How are the participants responding? It's great actually. The students from uh, online and offline, they have come to come, o come over here. In, even in this COVID times, they have come over here and they have participated. And students in online too, they are making themselves time. So it also shows how much the community loves the science. There's curiosity to discover and it's still there. So I feel like I'm more proud to be a part of this team. So I, I actually I actually kind of somewhere like your voice because it's on nice on a baritonic voice uh, sound and what is the science behind that vocal cords? Uh, it's a more of a frequency where it vibrates and it produces different voice. So I can say ah uh, uh, like different vibration causes different voice notes. My God, they have got answers for everything. <laughs> I thought he'll just say hereditary. <laughs> how, how is hereditary helping you on this? Uh, I'm a boy. <laughs> no, da, your, your dad, your dad's voice, your grandfather's uh, actually, voice. Actually, uh, heredity has like uh, where I have uh, like the traits of my mom's and my dad's. Like my dad's toughness is there. Like uh, and my mom. His voice is like this. It's a bit more tougher. Oh my god. So it's mixed up with my mom. So it's right, a bit right. soft. <laughs> so very well said. But but again but again in this in this whole quiz we also have the participants also along. What's your name? Sancho Roy. Okay. Surya sir. Ranganath. Fantastic. So everybody along together, how was the quiz? How is it? I mean, have you cleared some rounds? And uh, he said the only honor and certificates. No, sir. And you know, you need to know yourself. Have you known yourself? Yes, I came to know about my knowledge about in science. Okay. By knowing my knowledge, I can explore new things also. Right, right. I have cleared round one and round two. Now I am up to round three. Fantastic. Lovely, lovely to know. What is the toughest part uh, in, the, in the quiz? Maybe science about uh, in current affairs. Okay, okay. What is what is science about current affairs? I mean, like that's interesting to know. What what was the question in science about current affairs? Take some light. We are all very like you know uh, fair and green and all that. So what is it? What is what is science about current affairs? Sir, science in the current affairs in the sense, what are the initiatives or uh, what are the programs uh, given by the states or countries like that? Okay. Okay. Uh, these are the question, these are the types of questions I got in the quiz. All right, wow. Okay, so ma'am, nice, interesting uh, quiz questions. Science and current affairs. Now, how do you marry them both? It, it's I think like marrying uh, uh, some foreigner to Indian bride. So <laughs> it is not like that. With, uh, without current affairs, uh, yeah. because science is everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Science means everywhere. Nature itself is science. Right, right, yeah. right. So without touching nature, what is happening around us? There is no science. That's right. why current affairs are included. Fantastic. Sir, uh, getting into the video also. Sir, hi, how are you? Yes, good. How are you? Right, right, fine, fine. Doing good. Uh, you participated in the quiz. I heard you won it. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, I won. Uh, other science. <laughs> right, right, right. Yes. Fantastic. But how are you associated with the club and how is the... Faculty coordinator. Sir, is one of among the faculty yes. members for yes. science club. Fantastic. Sir, how was the turnout of the students? What do you feel about it? Um, uh, up to now, I did not see that. But uh, last time so we, when we uh, conducted programs in uh, on the science day, uh, there are many students who have partic participated and they, they have shown the project demo. So there are various uh, people who are there and the uh, from the various departments, uh, head of the departments and the other people who are more expert in science and technology. So they were appreciated when they evaluated that project. So we don't, uh, uh, when they are giving mark, uh, uh, we were under confusion. So to, to whom we have to give? Okay, so not only that, even uh, Jugat one program we have conducted uh, last last year, uh, they are also the students made waste into the useful product. Ah. Yeah, okay, so we, because now the now is the current term. Say for example, last week I conducted the e-waste drive. So ah, okay. yes, 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 we saw that. Yeah, e-waste e -waste drive. So the main aim is to control the e-waste and the electronic uh, product, or reuse the the source, the natural source is available from the e-waste. How to recover in a systematic way in an environmental way and how to um, uh, reduce the cost cutting uh, because now we are using batteries which, which is mostly a lithium based one yeah. okay which is uh, lithium is a very less source available in the world yeah, yeah, yeah. only 0 0.001 percentage is available but most of our electronic goods are made with the lithium yeah. okay but you now know, many vehicles are lithium based batteries this is lithium based one okay so source is available yeah. source is uh, availability of source is very less that is why this cost is more 
So India is nothing, no, no lithium. Correct. Lithium source in India. So we are dependent to the foreign countries to bring out uh, or importing the batteries. That's why we are paying, paying more money for buying the electronic goods. Correct. Okay, so but in, in the place of lithium, if you replace sodium or potassium ion batteries, then it will be very cheap. Right. Okay, the whatever the amount we are paying, uh, maybe uh, uh, it, it will cost cutting uh, process will go on that. So, uh, if you recover the lithium which is available in the used uh, electronic goods, say for example mobile. So, mobile is having a different version of, uh, if you take the apple, there is a different version is that. If now it's coming, uh, 14 is going to reach. So, so we, where is the uh, um, Apple phone, uh, iPhone 5 or 6, where it is there? Sir, I'm asking where is the charger, where is the headphones? Yes. He's uh, not even giving that. <laughs> yes, yes. So if you recover uh, and then if you're giving to the recycle people, they can recover the lithium and then they can reuse it for new battery. Yeah. Or they will do some modifications and then they will uh, reuse it. So I that mind should come. Uh, yeah, I think uh, I think your e, e uh, yes. uh, waste to drive thing. Mm -hmm. I think uh, uh, somewhere somewhere even in the main uh, mobile manufacturing company that you mentioned, I think even he is very much impressed with that, and that's why he's not giving charger yes. earphones. Yes. I mean, he does not have he does not want to put out more e waste, right, sir? Yes. But how much money is making? Unbelievable yes, amount yes, of yes, money. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. Even I involved in the project in UK to uh, make a, um, recover the valuable metal from the circuit board. So I made a circuit board which is biodegradable. Oh, okay, right. biodegradable means just the enzyme, if you put it into the enzyme, right. then the enzyme will lead the material. Right. Okay, then we can recover some platinum gold, which are the, some PPM level is okay. So we, that is enough to, uh, if, like like uh, small drops is combining and it is giving us a, uh, uh, the, the the drop in the ocean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sir, on a, on, a, on a very funny lines, I want to ask this because we've been involved with that uh, process and the companies and all that. Yeah. Sir, who bit that apple, sir? One one bite is there, no, sir, in that logo. Yeah. Who has actually bit that? Which logo, sir? The apple logo that we are talking apple about. Apple logo. <laughs> <laughs> Forget it, sir. Don't want to talk about it. Leave it. But talking about uh, science and food also, ma'am. Yeah. This is fantastic on a quiz thing that that you guys are you know doing it. But again, I, again, I want to end this again on a little bit of a funnier note on this. When when we see some uh, cooking videos, they say hundred grams of this. 10 grams of this, there is also science involved. Yes. Is it actually true? Like Yeah, science is there in food also. Yeah. <laughs> food science. Yeah, food yeah. science. Chemistry. Food science. But chemistries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is nothing but chemistry, yeah. including the food colors. So adding sodium chloride excess there. Yeah. You know. know what is sodium chloride? Yeah, NaCl, yes. common salt. Yeah. Salt. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So if you if you ask about uh, yeah. the, the cholesterol structures, all yeah. these things, that is combined with the oil. Okay. Yes. Yes. So uh, we are using but we don't know that is uh, chemistry is involving everyday life. Ah. Without knowing chemistry is involving, yeah. we are running our life. Yeah. But uh, once if you start thinking about uh, why mustard is cracking, sound is giving when it is put into the... But actually, why? Okay, so there is a chemistry is there, there is a science is there. Right. So, um, so a lot of things we can connect it, it is interlinking. Okay, then uh, say for example, uh, environmental point of view for making one idli. Yeah. How much amount of uh, energy is used? Actually, okay. If you uh, do the back calculation, we don't waste the food. Actually, because because yeah. it is the it is the uh, lactating bacteria that helps the you know batter yes, to yes, form yes, enzymes. Yeah, that, yeah. Yes, yes. That is the not only that uh, production of rice, production of uh, dal, Correct. and then um, uh, grinding. Yes. We are using energy yes. after grinding for cooking. We are using water source. Yes. Then we are using energy, which is uh, gas we are using, or any kind of uh, hot material. That is also energy is involving. Energy, water, which are all connected to the environmental science. So if you are aware about that, then we don't waste even one idli. Actually, so and if, if yeah. idli turns out to be a little hard and like a stone, yes. we make it pieces and then yes, do some tadka on to it. We can, we can make oh, upma. Yes, sir, in India it happens, sir. It's fantastic. But again, on a serious lines, of course, e-waste is, is really the science, concern. Yeah, science is there everywhere. How we are seeing, that is very important. Superb, sir. Superb and lovely team, ma'am, you've got. And uh, I wanted yes. to say one thing. About your idli, how it came nice, soft. <laughs> <laughs> Starting from our breath. Those, yeah, people, yeah. those people are not remembering our science in a uh, proper way. Starting from our breath, which is periodic in nature. Yeah, yeah. So starting from our breath, everywhere, in and around us, yeah. science is there. Without that, we are nothing. Actually. I mean, you talk about breath. This is the most important time we need oxygen and breath during the world. Of course, we will be limping back to normalcy as soon as possible. Ma'am, thank you so much. Fantastic, sir. Your uh, 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 you know, involvement in science and contribution to science is, is unbelievable.
keep keep up the good work and please keep watching more videos on our youtube channel and yogesh will tell me whom he's he actually giving some money for the prize money for the winners and and the quiz competition winners yogesh you're giving it out of your pocket yeah sir i'll give like it. i don't have pocket my science does not have pocket <laughs> yeah, exactly. thank you so much no pocket, no pocket. <laughs> Thank you.